Hey guys, if you can tell, I kind of cried a little. <laughs> I'm just emotional right now, but I realized that today is the one week when I moved out and I just wanted to give you a little life update. MIT classes started Tuesday, so it's the third day. I finished all my classes today and it was exhausting. I had four and a half hours of class this morning and in between class like I was grinding and even like during recitation I was trying to like multitask and get as much as I could done. I'm just so so busy even though it's only the third day. I had two P sets today. I have two quizzes. I did one quiz and one like mini warm up thing and I have more that I have to do. Wow! I honestly, I forgot like the groove of things at MIT. It feels so good to be back. Like. I love it so much. I get up at like probably 9 a.m. every day and I probably, I pretty much work straight um, minus like eating, minus like meals and like sometimes like talking to my roommates a bit, but I probably work straight until like 10 or 11 p.m. They're very long, like I get up, I do work if I have time before my classes and then I do work up until almost like pretty close to when I'm about to go to bed and it's very tiring and but it's actually i really like it um and so like what am i doing with all that time outside of classes you're probably wondering because like i probably only have like three or four hours of class a day um outside of classes like you're going through lecture notes you're reviewing you're doing warm-ups you're doing quizzes you're doing homeworks like there's just so much and i think that oftentimes in lecture i don't actually it's like it's almost like an introduction to the material and then it's like up to you to actually like learn the material either by going through notes or readings and things like that or reviewing it on your own um sometimes i just have to keep looking at my notes for a bit to really process the information or like sometimes i won't get everything out of a recitation so i'll spend more time on my own to like go through the practice problems or try to go over and make sure i fully understand everything because it sucks to be behind you're just gonna die but yeah, it's really exhausting, but I really, really like it. I feel like I'm just thriving right now. It's, oh, it is a lot. It certainly is a lot, a lot. Um, but oh my gosh, I just have to tell you. So this morning, I was in my bio class and we were doing biochemistry. And if you didn't know, I have a chemistry background, even though I'm studying computer science right now, but I did chemistry and like organic chemistry. I did so much chemistry in high school. I did research in chem, I took chem classes. I did chemistry for Science Olympiad for three years. Like I, chemistry is my domain. And this morning I had chemistry recitation or I had bio recitation and we were learning biochem and like going through this worksheet. And it felt so good to be like, know everything. And like to know what was going on, to already know the content and to like find everything really easy. Like it felt so, so good to like, I'm about to cry from this, but I was just like, I don't know, like you just get so used to like everything taking so much brain power to understand. In lecture, I'm using every last bit of my brain power to understand what the, like, what the teacher's saying and to feel like I know the content and I can grasp it easily because I already know it. It just makes you like, I feel like for me, so many classes just make, remind me of how little I know or like, I mean, I'm trying 110% every of my class, all of my classes I'd say, but to just have a class where I don't need to do that is just so refreshing and like, it kind of makes you feel good about yourself, you know, if you know what I'm saying. But yeah, I'm pretty busy because I also am interning this fall, but I haven't actually gotten around to like doing it because I just, I think the first few days are kind of rough and hectic. And then um, like other things you have to do in free time is definitely like interviews, interview prep, like that's a big thing, preparing for next summer. Um, recruiting has already started. So that's definitely a big time commitment, I would say. It's pretty good. Um, I've been FaceTiming my parents pretty much every day. And yeah, okay, another thing I wanted to kind of talk about moving here and my decision to do that so i do live in massachusetts right now i did move to massachusetts for the school year i'm living with two of my friends at first i was i wanted to do this for sure um but it is really hard to leave your family leave your friends like i had a really really good and happy life back home um i love the summer i loved last semester at home i had so much fun um i was constantly with people i loved and of course like 
living at home is always amazing. Um, you really don't take that for granted after you move out for college. The first few days, I was definitely so, so homesick. Like, ask either of my roommates, except don't, because I don't know how you would ask them and please don't stalk them that's kind of weird but i definitely was super homesick and i was like why did i come here low-key like room this like my home's nicer than this apartment um food's always provided for me and of course like being around like so many friends family all of that and so the first few days i was like god i like I, I i don't know about this like i know i'm gonna give it a couple of days but i was like right now this ain't it chief and now I am like, I mean, that was just like getting over the initial transition, initial homesickness. But now like, I am so, so happy with my decision. First off, I love my roommates to death. Like I, I, I actually just love them so much. Um, there's, I think the, uh, the three of us are like really good friends too. Um, we all get along super well and we're all like equally close. So I think that's really nice. And we do a lot of things together. Like for example like let's say alan wants to go get food like the two of us like Hyde and i will go and like go with him to like we'll walk with him like we just do things together we're like cute roommates um and like a lot of the time like any of us is like stressed like the other two will just like sit in their room and, like talk um sometimes like we usually like we'll just like you'll all like if like we'll just like hang out in someone's room hang out in the living space it's really nice to have kind of two workspaces just to mix it up. Like I can work in my room or I can go outside in the living room and like, I can be like, oh, like, do you want to come outside too? And she'll be like, yeah. We're in a lot of similar classes so we get to work together. So it's really fun because like, we're always watching, like for the classes we have together, like we watch lecture together, we take notes together and that's really nice. Um, we also like help each other through like questions. Um, if someone's like not understanding things, AKA when I'm not understanding things. And overall, I think that if I were to live at home, I think it would be a lot harder to maintain that kind of like schedule where I get up, I kind of start working. Um, I work pretty consistently throughout the day and then I eat dinner and then I work continue, I work some more, a couple more hours, maybe go to office hours and I sleep. And I feel like that, I just feel like it would be harder to maintain that kind of schedule at home versus here because here like Hyde and Alan are working too um there's less distractions and I know that I'm here for school versus at home when I'll be like hanging out with a bunch of people or I'll be less a lot less motivated to do work at night honestly so that's great um and overall I would say that classes are going pretty well um I haven't figured out whether or not I feel overloaded or underloaded um I feel pretty on top of things right now, but P sets are being released today. Um, two of the P sets are being released today, so I know I'll be for sure get busy and have plenty to do today. But, anyways, that is overall my life update. Um, I actually I'm I'm really happy right now, and I hope everyone else's school year is going good too. But that is it for the update, and I will catch you later. Toodles. And little message to Mama and Papa Chang. Um, I know they watch all of my videos. So if you're watching this and if you actually are true parents and made it to the very end of the video, shout out to you guys. I love and miss you guys lots. Mwah. <laughs>